Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Be open for new ways of doing things. And you know what? Yeah, that was kind of inspired by something personal because, and, and not a bad personal thing, because I had a certain rhythm to how I did my podcast videos, all the stuff I do for my numerous sites. And actually, this whole pandemic has thrown me off, <laughs> thrown me off because uh, my rhythm had to change. I, you know, I used to go to two different gyms during the day and, you know, hang out in different places, hit some restaurants up, maybe walk a mall, you know, do some all a bunch of social stuff. Can't do most of that now. So I was like, oh, what am I going to do? Oh, let me sit home and just actually do my work. And it was like, oh, wait a minute. This is changing my rhythm. Now I'm uh, actually getting more done, <laughs> getting more done, extra stuff. Ideas are coming up. And, you know, I was thinking about that. I was like, you know, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. You know, one of the things going through life is that we get into a routine. We get into a rhythm. It's nothing wrong with that because it's efficient. You know what you're doing and everything. But you know what? Always be open to doing something a different way. Always be open to it. One, it could be actually a better way of doing it. I mean, yeah, what you were doing at first worked, but then you do something new. It's like, hey, you know what? This works better. <laughs> it's not the same thing. I'm not working as hard. <laughs> Seriously, it could happen that way. Or what you were doing, the ways you were doing certain things at first, oh, you know what? You were still having fun. But you know what? I don't care what it is. I don't care what you do. There's always a routine. Like when I would go to the gym, sometimes I would just, you know, even when the gyms were open, sometimes I would like take a week off. Or something. And even when I was, uh, you know, just just to, you know, sit back and then come back in fresh and everything, because I don't care how much fun something is. It gets boring. It, it gets to a point you don't really feel like doing it anymore because it's the same thing day in and day out. You know, and it's no matter what you do, you got to switch it up, you know, just for those reasons. You know, just just to give something new, to do it a new way. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a better way. You know, it could be both of them could be equal, but it's different. You know, because that's one thing about human beings. We need constant stimulation. We do. There's nothing wrong with that. I know some people would rather stay with the same thing. But sometimes when you see something new or be open to doing new, th doing, uh, new ways of doing things, it can really help you because ultimately... What we all here to do, grow. You know, we either doing one thing, we either growing up, spiraling up, or we're spiraling down. And But, you know, sometimes we might just spiral in place. And actually, even beyond that, we could be not going anywhere because we're doing everything the same. We're looking at it the same. We're in that same rhythm. So we, we stay in there and it's comfortable, but we're not growing. We're not looking at anything. Just And this is in any area of life. It don't matter what it is. It could be, you know, new ways of making love. Seriously, it could be new ways of making love. It could be new ways that you're driving to work. You know, trying a different foods. You know, going on trips. Going, visiting places you haven't been before. And even being open to how you're thinking about certain things. Let me, let, me, let me dwell on that one a bit. Sometimes it's nothing wrong with being introduced a new way of thinking or a new way of perceiving a particular thing. There's nothing wrong with it at all. And it's not to say what you were doing was wrong. But what you would do is when you get new ways, sometimes you can see a different angle to it. And you might be able to solve the problem because a lot of times when we come across things, we're approaching it from a certain angle, we, uh, a certain thought process. And, you know, it probably serves us most of the time. Well, especially if it don't, yeah, definitely think of something new. But if it serves us, you know, we stick with it. But sometimes it's not bad to add something to it because then it can expand your possible responses to it in new ways. It's always good to see things in a different way because it opens up a whole new world. Doing things in a different way opens up a whole new world. Cooking things in a certain way. I mean, everything. Okay, let me use cooking. We all like to eat. 
there's different ways I would like cook stuff. I was like, hmm, let me try it this way or let me bake it. Like I, I use, well, I'm always known for talking about buffalo wings. I haven't fried buffalo wings since early late eighties. <laughs> you know, when I'm cooking them myself, I haven't fried any any chicken or anything like that since the late eighties. Always bake it, cause one day, I th- what was it? Oh yeah, I didn't feel like going out and get some grease or some or you know some, uh, you know cooking oil, right? Didn't feel like going to cooking oil. I said, shoot, uh, I'll just bake it in the oven. Tasted great. I was like, oh wow. <laughs> you know, it's always it's always something new, and it's always exciting to learn something new and to do th- things because it just keeps it keeps stimulating your spirit, and that's the main thing. So always, so always, always, always be open for new ways of doing things. So have a great Sunday morning. Keep rising and transforming. Peace.